To give a quick overview, Siemens can help teams reduce the time spent on manufacturing composites, the trial and error cost normally associated with it, the quality of the composites, which includes imperfections and weight reduction, and how we can validate the design before it's manufactured. Some common issues in composites include composites being very time consuming. It takes a lot of trial and error to get the parts right. There are mistakes in the flat pattern cutouts, which result in wasted material and time, and there are imperfections during manufacturing. Teams also have no way to account for the actual fiber orientations after the plies are laid on the molds in their FEA to ensure there aren't structural issues, so their parts are overbuilt and heavy to ensure they don't break. And there is an increased chance of failure and risk due to inconsistent production quality. That's where FiberSim can help because it enables you to plan composite design concepts and definitions through things like drape simulations to predict fiber orientation on your molds. In this, you can reorient and add cuts as needed to alleviate fiber orientation distortions. Once you're happy with your design, you can simulate the structural integrity of the part while also accounting for the fiber orientations on each ply by using SimCenter 3D. Note that both FiberSim and SimCenter 3D operate within NX, so you never need to leave the software to do anything mentioned here. Adjustments can be made if needed, and then structural simulations can be run again. However, if nothing needs adjusting, you can move on to producing the manufacturing data. This video gives a good illustration as to how Renault Sport Formula 1 uses FiberSim. For us, the design might start in aerodynamics. We're going to get fully released aero surfaces, but it's nothing more than that, a surface with no structural properties. So we initially need to work very closely with our stress engineering department, optimising the structure, the laminate, the material properties of what that composite part is going to become. And that's really where FibreSim starts to tie all these departments together. So that FibreSim 3D model then becomes the baseline for how we release the information for manufacturing. By having that level of confidence and control with a single 3D FibreSim model, you can really improve the overall quality and confidence in the parts you're going to manufacture. FibreSim has now become a totally critical part of the composite's workflow because it gives us the level of confidence we need to put the parts on the track right first time. A technical partnership is a lot more than a simple supply. With Siemens we have found a technical partner that has the same passion for innovation and for the challenge and definitely somebody who can support us to achieve our aspiration to return to the top of the grid. Formula SAE teams like McGill and Global Formula Racing, or GFR, use FibreSim for composites throughout their car. For example, GFR used FibreSim to make their nose cone, which would have been quite difficult to achieve due to its shape, and would have required test layups and additional carbon to cover imperfections. FibreSim simplifies the design and manufacture of complex curved parts like this, where the laminate can be designed quickly and material behavior can be simulated to achieve success the first time. They found that precise flat patterns maintain part accuracy. The budding of the ply edges was within half a millimeter of the mold, thereby eliminating the need to add ply patches. And the entire ply kit, two complete layers of material, was exported from FibreSim and cut in less than one minute, and the layup was done in two hours. GFR also used FibreSim to design their composite wheel layup, which has over 200 plies. They found that by moving to FibreSim, that their layup process went from 18 hours to nine by predicting manufacturing challenges and generating accurate flat patterns. And cutting of the material went from two hours to 15 minutes by sending the flat patterns directly to the CNC ply cutter. So when they use FibreSim to make 24 wheel rims, they save 258 hours of time. FEMAP is another tool that can be used for structural analysis of the composites, but it can be used for much more like chassis torsional stiffness and complex assemblies. This supplements what is found in SimCenter 3D since FEMAP is built from the ground up around finite elements. So it enables even more control of the mesh, which is great for validation studies. For example, the RIT FSAE team moved from their FEA package after the chief engineer completed a co-op with SpaceX. They performed analysis of the entire chassis, a chassis brace, steering support, engine mounts, intake plenum, wings, under tray, drive shafts and steering shafts, and ultimately found FEMAP to be three times more accurate for their monocoque torsional rigidity simulations and a lot easier to use. Here are quotes that elaborate on the ease of use, capability, and benefits they saw from using FEMAP. 
To help your teams come up to speed quickly, we have a variety of resources, such as various e-learning classes. This webinar explores composite design with FiberSim and getting started courses available at no cost to our academic partners in Learning Advantage. The FiberSim 101 article is commonly referenced by experts as a great place to get started with FiberSim. On YouTube, there are videos that cover FEMAP basics, along with new tips and tricks, new release information, and customer success stories. And the support center includes getting started, troubleshooting, documentation, and other resources for all the products mentioned here. So to review, we enable you to conceptualize your composite design quickly, reduce the time spent manufacturing composites through trial and error, satisfy performance goals, assure consistent production quality, and eliminate uncertainty before it's manufactured, and therefore reduce the weight of the part.